Uh, sir, you have three minutes to tell us why you should be president. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. On the 29th of May, 2019, I will be sworn in as the eighth president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. With the support and the votes of the Nigerian people, that will happen because I am putting myself forward to serve, to serve you, Nigeria and Nigerians. It is time for a different kind of leadership. My government will have a kind of approach to Nigeria's problems that we've never seen before in this country. And that is a foundational approach that addresses the root causes of our challenges. The first of which is, are we a nation, really? Or are we just a country? And as I would argue, a broken one. And so we will come at this problem by first of all defining the foundational philosophy of the Nigerian state. Establishing a national ambition around which all of us can unite that rises above the things that divide us. We will restructure this country constitutionally so that it can actually fulfill its potential. We will establish effective national security. We will work with women as equal partners. They will not just be in the kitchen or the other room, but they will have a seat at the table. We will work with our young people, the youth of this country, as leaders of today, not tomorrow. We will break the back, the backbone of poverty in this country by establishing education and literacy for all citizens of this country, giving them access. We will create skills for all our young men and women establishing skills training centers in the 774 local government areas of Nigeria. And we will provide access to finance. We want small, once again, be strong at home, power abroad. We will accomplish all this working together under my leadership as president because I have been prepared for the office of the president. Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria for five years, leading far-reaching reforms in the financial system that have touched the lives of millions of Nigerians, including the bank verification number, saving our banks. 17 years as a United Nations official and as a professor in one of the world's most prestigious universities of international business and economic policy. I am ready and it is time. Thank you very much, the candidate for the Young Progressives Party, the YPP. Now I'll turn to Fela Durutoye, the candidate flag bearer for the ANN, the Alliance for New Nigeria. To many voters watching, you are a relative newcomer. Uh, but indeed, you yourself, you said that you're not a politician. You've described yourself as, quote, a nation builder. But you aspire to the highest political office in the land. Why should Nigerians put their faith in you and anoint you President Durotoye? Well, thank you, Mark, and a uh, very good evening to you all. My name is Fela Durotoye. I am a business management consultant, leadership expert, and a nation builder. And that's really at the core of my heart. Many times when people ask me, who is a nation builder? I say, well, it's, it's really as simple as A, B, C, D. Someone who accepts responsibility for the well-being of his nation, not just his own personal well-being. Somebody who believes in the greatness and the potential of not just the nation, but the people to be able to actualize that greatness. And then see somebody who commits. It's committed their time, their, their, their talents, their gifts, their wealth, their resources. And lastly, somebody who doggedly does everything that is possible to deliver the future of that nation. And when I say the future, I mean a time zone that is yet to come. No, that's not what I mean. I mean everything a nation can be but has not yet become. Everything a nation can do but has not yet done. Everything a nation can have but has not yet possessed. Nigeria 
undoubtedly is one of the most blessed nations on earth. When you think about the human resources, when you think of the natural resources and the mineral resources, the question is, why haven't we fulfilled our nation's potential? Well, because we have been ruled and not led for the last 50 odd years. And because rulers suppress the potential of others, whereas leaders support those people to release their potential. I am a leadership expert. I have served the people of Nigeria. I have helped businesses for the last 27 years of my career. I currently mentor over 10,000 business leaders and 20,000 business professionals on the Feladro to a Leadership Network. I have dedicated my life to the service of the people of Nigeria. So why am I running for the office? Because we have been failed in leadership and in governance. Those whom we have accepted to go into governance and handle the business of governance are people we probably will not have hired ourselves. Tonight, I know you would hear many of the things that people have done, the former this and the former that. Well, I do not come to you with any former titles. I only come to you with the hope of the future of this nation. Because Nigerians have lost hope. Today you can see that in drug addiction, suicide rates, and in migration. I will restore that hope in Nigerians. And together, we will build a new Nigeria where there is jobs and opportunities for all, where businesses succeed, and the son of a nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody, because it will be a nation that works for all. Thank you. Now, madam, it surprised many of us when you threw your hat in the ring and said, I want to be president. What compelled you to run, and why should Nigerians give you their vote? Good evening, fellow Nigerians. My name is Obi Ezekwesili and I'm the presidential candidate of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria. Nigeria, our country, is in dire straits. Nigeria needs to be rescued urgently. The trouble with our country was identified by Chinua Achebe, one of the illustrious sons of this country, who is now late, when he said that the problem with Nigeria is simply and squarely a failure of leadership. What we see in our country is massive failure of leadership. Our children have failed. Some 44% of our children are stunted because they are malnourished. It leaves a lasting effect on them. Our young ones are hopeless in the midst of all of us because annually some two to three million of them would graduate from school, high school, and tertiary education, and find no jobs. Our women are, you are being failed. Some 60% of them are poor. Whether it's the north or the south or the east or west of Nigeria, there is massive poverty. We have no business being the world capital of poverty. It is urgent for us to change the direction of our country. Because it is failure of leadership, it means that our politics is culpable. Our politics has become politics by the politicians, for the politicians, and of the politicians. Many of you know me not to be a politician. However, I have been a technocrat that understood the political context of this country and it's very clear that except we disrupted the pattern of politics that we have we will continue to fail and we must no longer fail our people that is why I am running for office I bring with me the track record of being able to fix problems as a technocrat in government I had many assignments that I had to fulfill. I served the Nigerian people. In serving the Nigerian people, I was conscious of the fact that it is exactly the opportunities that Nigeria gave me that made me the child of a poor public servant. 
and an enterprising mother to become the person that I have become. I have the capacity, the competency and the character to take on this new direction of leadership that our country deserves.